In this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to install these DAC jets. I've got four of them here and we've got some super cool stuff. I'm gonna show you guys tips, tricks, and all kinds of stuff you've probably never seen before. How to get these things perfectly straight and perfectly level. Let's get into it. What's up everybody? We've got four DAC jets that we are installing. I've already installed three, but I'm gonna go through the steps, those tricks, process of how I do it. There's gonna be some stuff on here you may not know. And there's gonna be a very specific install on this one because we are doing something that most nobody ever does. And that is we are putting this heart stone that we've got on this job. This is all heart stone, this whole patio. We're putting caps on for the lids, not the plastic. So check this out. This is our lid. Tell me that's not sick, huh? It's gonna blend right in with this patio. We're actually gonna cut these in half. If you guys are watching on YouTube, this training is going in my personal training course. So I have a training course that I'm doing fiberglass installation all the way from the excavation to the finished product, something that's never been done before. So if you're interested in that, check that out below, uh, but let's get into it. So I've got three of them installed already. Uh, this is not a complicated process. I'm just gonna set you guys up here and we're gonna walk through the whole thing. I'm gonna show you what I'm doing. So I'm gonna take my level and I'm going to mark it on the bottom. Now sixteenths and everything matter on this because you've only got three quarter to play with here. And also something on this job that's very important is all of these deck jets are perfect with the coping. I mean, they are spot on. And when the guys install it, I mean, they may vary. You can see the flex in them but they are dead on every one of them. And that's so important to make this job just look very nice. So when these guys install the pavers, they're gonna drill the holes perfect on every stone. So they're just dead on. That's very important. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and take out the plug. Sit over here. We've got the inside here. Now what I do, this is three quarter in here. I've already measured it. So depending on your deck jet, this is a CMP deck jet. Um, I've got inch and a half right here, okay? And if I just go inch and a half, mark it. And then I come here and mark, measure. I've got uh, four and three eighths, okay? So that's gonna get me flush to the top, right? Now we need to go down three quarter because of the stone lid, plus that's three quarter in there, so it works out perfect. So we've got our top measurement here. We're just going to go down four and three eighths to the top of our line. That's very important. Now, if we do get this a little long, as we go to set it, we can always pull it back up, re-clean it, maybe trim a little bit off. So that uh, shouldn't be an issue if that happens. But we're going to get in here real close, cut our line. Okay. Now we're gonna clean up our pipe. Take a razor blade. I know they make like uh, chamfering, I think they're called chamfering tools stuff. So either way, if, if it's a little tighter access, you can always, uh, you know, use, you know, um, pipe cutters or whatever, you know, it's up to you, but this is just what I have with me. want to get this thing completely spotless. I'm very anal when it comes to doing pipe fitting, personally. Um, just any little speck kind of bothers me, you know? So I just make sure that everything is tip top shape. The, the black is gonna to want to come off on this as I do my cleaner, and that's okay. We're just gonna do it once there, get it nice and clean. I'm gonna come around here, just get that doped up pretty good. And then I'm gonna tip it upside down, do a little twist inside. I've got plenty, just enough glue on there. Now we're gonna put our level here and I'm gonna set this here. One quick tip, do not plug these until the glue is all the way dry, just in case you got some in there. Because if this thing gets stuck in there, you are not getting it out. And if you do get it out, it's basically, you can tear up all the threads in here and then you've got bad news. So be careful of that. Make sure you don't do that. Here, just like that. All right. And you're just gonna measure whatever you're doing, right? I'm gonna go three quarter for my cat. That should be it. I'm checking inside there. I've got plenty of coverage in there. I do have, might pop it up just a hair, just to get that three quarter. This drain is a little bit sloped because the pipe's not perfect, but we'll make up any 
inconsistency on it with the stone when we go to set it. Right now it's kind of at an angle and we can always, you know, maneuver the stone and make it fit perfectly. So um, after that is set, I'm gonna come in here, throw in my plug and uh, it's winter time here. So we just wanna make sure that's in. So overall, that's pretty much the basics here. We're gonna make sure, very important, don't forget, this right here, you got weep holes in here, right? For, for drainage. So I wanna make sure that's all covered with a loose gravel material and that's going to do all four of these so let me check here i'll see i'll show you guys how close we are so six five and seven eighths five and seven eighths five and seven eighths five six and an eighth and that one can just be nudged over just a hair and these ones could actually come this way just a snudge too. So that is the entire install on these. Pretty simple process, nothing too crazy, nothing too complicated. Just make sure you don't cut too much pipe off. Um, that one kind of seemed like there was almost too much cut off, but there wasn't. I had enough, it was just, uh, it was just sloped a little bit on the drain. So that is the entire install. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please check out the mentor program. I teach you guys how to build big pool projects and pool companies. It's a very in-depth personal process. And I work with you one-on-one -on -one or business coaching or check out the training course as well. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys on the next one.